In this video, I will talk about the process of transcription. Before we get down to the nitty-gritty details of transcription, let's take a step back. Why do our cells want to go through this process of transcription? It is all about making a protein. Your DNA contains units called genes, and these genes have in their sequences of nucleotides the instructions for building a protein. There are two major steps for being able to use this information in the DNA to build a protein. You must first make a copy of the protein building information stored in the gene, and then you must read that copy and build the protein. The first step the production of a copy of the gene is called transcription. And the second step, the reading of this copy to build a protein is called translation. So we are going to focus on transcription in this video, making the copy of the DNA instructions. This temporary copy of the DNA sequence is in the form of RNA, ribonucleic acid. RNA is like DNA in that it is made up of nucleotides. But unlike DNA, RNA is single-stranded and contains the nucleotide base uracil instead of thymine. There are many types of RNA found in cells. The specific type of RNA that is built in transcription is called messenger RNA or mRNA because it is carrying the message from the DNA to the protein building machinery in the cell. So how do we build this mRNA transcript of a gene? We need to use a few types of proteins. RNA polymerase is the enzyme responsible for unwinding the DNA and building the mRNA. And proteins called transcription factors are responsible for promoting transcription of a gene by recruiting the RNA polymerase to that gene. Let's take a look at the structures of a gene that make transcription possible. First, we have a promoter region, which is where transcription factors and RNA polymerase bind to the DNA to prepare for transcription. Then we have the transcription unit which contains the actual nucleotide sequence that codes for the protein. Finally, we have a termination sequence, which signals the end of transcription. The promoter region of the gene usually contains a sequence called the TATA -ta box, which contains a nucleotide sequence TATAA. -A -A. This TATA -ta box in the promoter is where some of the transcription factor proteins will bind to the DNA. Once the transcription factors have bound to the TATA -ta box, they will recruit RNA polymerase to the promoter of the gene, preparing that gene for transcription. One more thing to note about the gene is that it contains two strands of DNA running anti-parallel. One strand holds the nucleotide sequence that acts as the instructions to build the protein. This is called the coding strand. The other strand is called the template strand. To make a strand of mRNA that is a copy of the coding strand of the DNA, the mRNA will be built complementary to the template strand. This way, the sequence of the mRNA is exactly the same sequence of the coding strand except that mRNA will have a uracil where the DNA will have a thymine. Once the RNA polymerase has bound to the promoter region of the gene, transcription can start. The RNA polymerase will unwind the DNA, creating a transcription bubble. The RNA polymerase will use RNA nucleotides to build a strand of mRNA complementary to the template strand in the transcription bubble. Notice that when DNA contains adenine, the complementary RNA nucleotide is uracil, and when DNA contains thymine, the complementary RNA nucleotide is adenine. As the RNA polymerase moves along the gene, the transcription bubble will remain the same size, meaning that the DNA that has already been built onto will need to wind back together. 
For this to happen, the newly built mRNA will begin to detach from the DNA toward the back of the transcription bubble. As the RNA polymerase moves down the gene, an mRNA tail will start to trail the bubble, getting longer and longer as transcription continues. When the RNA polymerase reaches the end of the transcription unit, it will run into the terminator sequence of the gene. This sequence of DNA causes the RNA polymerase and the mRNA to detach from the DNA, and the remaining transcription bubble winds back together. Notice that the original DNA strand is left completely unaltered from its original state. At this point, the RNA polymerase has created an mRNA version of the coding strand of the gene, and this mRNA can now leave the nucleus and enter the cytoplasm of the cell, where it will go through the process of translation to build a protein. So that was the process of transcription. Our cells use transcription factors and RNA polymerase to make an mRNA transcript of a gene which can then be translated into a protein needed to complete a task within the organism. Please see my video on translation to watch this process go all the way through to the creation of a protein. If you're interested in the genetic code, you can also see my video on how to translate mRNA into a sequence of amino acids.